Well, Andrew Chmielewski knows that I am one of his biggest fans here at QVC. Dave, your dad, was a uh, in the firehouse yep. making batches and batches, homemade batches of Dave's Sweet Tooth. And when you look at the packaging that it comes in, it actually looks like a little mason jar, which your dad used to put his batches in. He did, yeah. And guess what? They're made exactly the same way. So Andrew and I are finally reunited, and it feels so good because <laughs> my friend Laura looks at me every year the holidays rolls around and she's like are you getting that coffee oh, are yeah. you getting that candy it's a, it's a must have unlike any other toffee ever whether you've gotten it in Europe in London or anywhere around the world this is the best and we have the only presentation of today so it's been our big seasons eatings yep. all day long but you're the first people to see and that means you better snatch it up while it's here the Dave sweet tooth three bags of handcrafted soft toffee these are new for the day and there's nothing like it so we're gonna talk Start with the milk chocolate option, which was your original. Yep. We'll go through these really quickly because I know if you're a fan like me, you want to start ordering now. <laughs> we have dark chocolate cherry. I only wish my dad was still here because he would have loved that. That yep. would have been his favorite. Yep. But there's only 200 left in the dark chocolate cherry. Oh, wow. And you're getting three bags. And then down mm. at the bottom, how about this for a moment? Your pumpkin spice, which is brand new. Really limited, brand new. Yep. And guys found this at QVC.com because there's only 150. <laughs> You get one bag um, of each in the combo, and that's usually the most popular. So if you're going to get the combo, you're going to get the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate cherry, and the pumpkin spice new for the season. But can we dive in, and let's start with the milk chocolate, because this is unlike any other toffee you've ever had. It is, it is. And, you know, it's it's a softer toffee, so it's yeah. not really hard on your teeth like traditional mm -mm. English toffee. Traditionally, English toffee is hard, brittle, sticks in your teeth. This is not that. We say it has more of like a cookie-like crunch. Yeah. You can see it still has that snap like traditional English. English toffee, but it just breaks apart, melts in your mouth. It eats more like a cookie. So mm. we call it a gourmet soft toffee. But you're right, uh, uh, Jean, the, the milk chocolate is the one that started it all. Mm -hmm. That was my dad's original recipe. And as you said, he used to make it for the guys at the engine house. Mm -hmm. He'd package it in mason jars, give it to friends and family around the holidays. That's where the whole mason jar motif for the packaging comes from. And uh, yeah, we used to make it the same way that my dad and I, I used to make that. it in our home kitchen. So it's real butter real sugar we've got that uh, that real rich milk chocolate those toasted almonds are cooked to perfection inside oh. every batch inside our big copper kettles um, you know it's all handmade the same way we used to make it at home mm. so uh, it really is a handmade product these these bags here make great gifts um, you can see the way I mean, like I said it's all made by hand so we stir that butter giving, yeah, look sugar at that. Yeah, tell us about yeah, what we're, we're, we're pouring you know we pour the sugar right into that uh, that butter pour it out onto the pans uh, we go ahead we top it with that milk or dark chocolate mm. and then dust it with the almonds and the almonds are actually cooked in there as well so you get that toasted almond flavor with that rich buttery toffee cookie like crunch i mean it doesn't doesn't stick in your teeth like traditional english toffee and that's what people really seem mm -hmm. to like about it toffee is like the quintessential holiday item mm. and uh you know coming up with thanksgiving i'm gonna skip the cherry for now and go right to the pumpkin spice because that's what's got me excited and you know yeah. what my dear friend, this is actually almost sold out. Oh, it is? Okay, Everybody's great. Everybody's well, jumping to the milk chocolate because yeah. that's the way we go. And like I said, when I first shared it with my friend Laura, she texted me and she's like, we are freaking out yep. over this toffee. Like, it's unlike anything you've ever had. And we waited for the grand finale to bring it to you. But milk chocolate, you can't go wrong. But let's jump to pumpkin yeah, spice because so that pumpkin probably spice, won't be on the table. Yeah, well. no, that's going to go quick. The pumpkin spice is one of my absolute favorites. This, again, eats like a pumpkin pie cookie. So you've got that cinnamon, that nutmeg, mm. that allspice cooked in there with the milk chocolate. Again, those toasted mm. almonds, that rich buttery toffee. And it still has that snap like English toffee, but mm -hmm. it, it just, it eats like a cookie so it's kind of like for for the thanksgiving coming up mm -hmm. put this out on the table get a couple bags get a couple three packs for yourself put it out there you know pretend you made it yourself you mm. know just be the star of the show right i devour this <laughs> i mean my husband doesn't even get a, a piece of it in a bag it's so awful you've got to hide it from the family members <laughs> I, we recommend putting it in a bag a in the fridge I or the, the freezer entire yeah. bag. Absolutely. i was going to say i may or may not have gone through almost one on the they, way home well, they, they have <laughs> and a, i'm not in the car see? that long the I joke really is they have the resealable you know zipper on there 
no, like, well, everybody's we don't need like that. yeah, we don't need that. You no, know? with a thousand gone, it's the only presentation today. The dark chocolate cherry is almost sold out, so but you yeah. can get it. I was I I honor my dad a lot of these shows because yes, Bernie lived alone and he was Italian and he loved to cook. He loved a dark chocolate cherry mm. moment. And even though you can get it in the combo, talk to us about the dark chocolate cherry. Yeah, so we're, we're busy, by the way, and both shift dates are going quickly now and the 9th of December. How about both, Monique? That is bananas. Yeah, the dark chocolate oh. cherry. So um, this is our original dark chocolate toffee, but we took dried Montmorency cherries from Traverse City. We're from Michigan. I'm from uh, Michigan. So yeah, we go right up. Uh, we go up to Traverse City, cherry capital of the world. Uh, we get our dried cherries right from there. So it's not a syrup or artificial flavoring. Right. These are real dried cherries. <laughs> you have to hold. Oh boy. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. So in the immediate shift date, which you get it right now for Thanksgiving, it's only the combo. So okay. and only five right. hundred left. And I would do multiples because it ships for free. It's less than eight dollars a month on Easy Pay. <laughs> and I love this fact. It stays fresh nine months in oh, the yeah, pantry. Sure. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Nine My months. My dad yeah, would say, Hardy, har, har, har. Is that happening? There. Yeah, yeah. No. no, and then and then if you if you honestly if you put it in the freezer, it'll stay till next holiday season. Yeah, so I, yeah. I dip mine in whipped cream. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I, I literally dip it. I almost thought you were gonna say whiskey because I'm like, oh well, that too. <laughs> well, you can that. Why not? Of some ice cream, that sounds on top good of too. bread pudding, <gasps> bake it into cookies, you know what I did one cupcakes, time? cheesecake, anything. I used the milk chocolate in a trifle. Yeah, okay. So you just make your brownies yes. and you, you know, you can even do the one from the freezer or make your own whipped cream and you make a trifle with this. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Can't beat it. But you don't even have to. Just put it <laughs> out. And, you know, when you're looking for that extra present, because this is a little over $7 a gift, I don't like to just give a gift card. Right. Especially to the young kids. No, Maybe you're sure. getting, you know, the, the gift card so they can get music or they can go get their coffee or they can get their nails done. But multiple purchases. So in the immediate ship date, all that's left is the combo and there's 400 remaining. Now we have a thousand people waiting to place their order because when Andrew gets here honoring his dad in this recipe, it's always so popular. We haven't seen it all day long and mm -hmm. this is new. In the uh, ship date on the 9th of December, the dark chocolate cherry and the milk and the pumpkin spice, meaning you get three of each. Now we're down to fewer than a hundred. Oh wow, okay. But so in the combo quick. where you get one milk, one dark cherry, and one of the pumpkin spice, we only have 950, and there's more people than that waiting on the line. I mean, your dad really reinvented like a classic um, candy. Like yeah. he really, really did. Absolutely. So again, like it, uh, traditionally English toffee is very hard and brittle, and this just eats more like a cookie. I can't stress that enough. Yeah. We call it a gourmet soft toffee for a reason because it doesn't break your teeth. It right. doesn't stick no. in your teeth, and mm -mm. that's what people really seem to no. like about it. I, I was very quiet during this presentation because <laughs> I didn't stop eating. Um, always a pleasure, Andrew. I'm happy to see you again because you're see you always as well. part of our holiday season. Thank you so much. Thanks um, for thank me. you so much. And I'm just going to step out because I am wearing Denim and Company tonight, and. Monifa looks gorgeous as well.